you see here, I got the magnet, bringing this magnet in proximity to it causes it to rotate. You want to line up with the poles, pull it there, it goes like that. So I oscillate it in and out, cause it was rotation. And I've taken that principle and turned it into a motor. Same concept, except now it's just laying on its side. And you have four rotators and three reciprocators. Now on this, all the bottom magnets, all north poles are pointing this way. On the top row of magnets, all north poles are pointing this way. On the three reciprocators, they're all pointing in the same direction. So if you oscillate this, it causes rotation. Or if you rotate it, it causes oscillation back and forth. So it's similar to a cog. It takes rotation, turns it into reciprocation, or it takes reciprocation and turns it into rotation. Now what I'm using for my switch to switch it in and out is just a speaker, and I got have standard DC power coming into it. And I use a little switch here, which switches the polarity to the speaker back and forth and cause them to go in and out. And the little switch is set up so it's in tune with the frequency of the rotation. So it, it switches at the preferred time of the rotation. Okay. Using a uh, Radio Shack plug, this is, I have it set on 12 volt, it's 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps. Plug this in. Okay. You can see as I rotate it a little bit, you can see how the speaker goes in and out, causes it to go in and out. you're not putting power into it. And away she goes. Slow it down a little bit to get a better idea of what it's doing. As you see, as it reciprocates back and forth, it's causing rotation. I'll let it go. And Power to it. There's no power, but it's still it's causing it's uh, the flywheel action is causing the reciprocation back and forth. 